Hey everyone, it's Megan here, and you're coming with me to beautiful Wuxi in eastern China's Jiangsu province. Wuxi is part of the region called Jiangnan, which translates as south of the Yangtze River. It's known for being one of the most fertile and lush parts of China. And I'm getting a very Jiangnan-style welcome at this hotel. The Grand Canal flows right through Wuxi, which means I'm going to enjoy the serene pace of life and the flourishing nature that only water can bring. Wow, we are arriving in style. I don't think I've ever arrived at a hotel in a boat before. That is one way to make an entrance. I guess that's how they do it here in Jiangnan. Ni hao. Ni hao, to The hotel appears quite modern at first glance, but look closely and there are traditional Chinese-style touches everywhere, integrated seamlessly into the overall design. No two rooms are quite the same. It's definitely not your big brand hotel where there's a standard template for each suite. Eastern and Western, traditional and modern, come together to induce an undeniable sense of calmness. And lights! This is my hotel room. It's a very uh, modern design. Oh wow, they have, they have a little private garden here. Really tranquil little space. It actually makes sense that they have this here because there's a key Taoist principle that humans should live in harmony with nature. So even a hotel suite like this has its own little pocket of nature that you can escape to. I feel like this would be a nice place to do some reading or some meditating or some stargazing if it's a clear night. And this is a bedroom. Whoa, did they prepare this for me? I mean, it's beautiful, but they do know I'm not on my honeymoon, right? I wonder how many towels went into this. It's really, really ornate. Oh, I really like this painting behind the headboard. It's got this kind of traditional Chinese style vibe to it. Oh, and the fan too. They did put quite a bit of effort into bringing out these elements of traditional Chinese aesthetics. This is actually a very Jiangnan style fan now that I look at it. It's got the calligraphy and the artwork and it's very delicate. And there's a garden right outside my window. It looks like gardens are a really big part of the theme of this hotel. It seems like there's a public garden on every single floor. And of course, the one down here is the crown jewel of them all. This right here is very much the cornerstone of this accommodation. Gardens are commonplace and much loved in the Jiangnan region, so the designers built one for the guests right inside the hotel. Everything about this garden is distinctly Jiangnan. It's all about recreating the natural environment in a delicate miniature version. It's built in the Yichu Sanshan style, which is really common around here. And it literally translates to one pond, three mountains. You've got one, two, three little mountains. And in a Jiangnan style garden like this, it's important that the water is always flowing and that there's lots of healthy koi swimming around in it. There are a lot of different kinds of plants here and there's a wide variety to guarantee that at any given time of year, at least some of them will be at their peak bloom. They put a lot of attention into all these details just to make sure that they can create as tranquil an environment as possible. That's what makes this garden so Jiangnan. Everything about this region is graceful and gentle and has this kind of subtle sophistication. It really makes you want to slow down and relax and take everything in. It's easy to forget, relaxing in the garden all day, that this hotel is in the heart of Wuxi. There's so much of the city to see just within walking distance. And on a gorgeous day like today, I'm taking a stroll to the central temple in the busiest part of the city. 
Legend has it that centuries ago, Wuxi was suffering from constant flooding due to the incessant rainfall. But after the temple was built, the rain magically eased up. Who knew architecture could have a hand in commanding the weather? Behold the magnificent Lingshan Grand Buddha, one of the tallest statues of the Buddha in the world. And not far away, on the shore of the famous Lake Taihu, is Yuan Tozhu Scenic Area. It's a Jiangnan-style garden, and you can literally get lost in the endless stretches of flora and maze-like paths. Luckily, I have a guide to lead me. Uh, 但是呢，它会通过一系列的造园手法，起到一个小中间大的效果。它对这个山石还有植被的布局呢，都非常讲究。通过这一种叠山离水的技巧呢，来达到一种一步换景的效果。什么是一步换景呢？就是走一步换一